Hello guys, how are you today? Our topic for today is, is about how you become QAQC inspector. So, paano ka ba maging QC? So, what is the important thing that you need to understand? Being a quality assurance, quality control controller, it's difficult. Handling everything, interfacing to other department, and then intervention about the quality. Mostly sometimes we have argument related the activities at site, construction activities, because some of the work of the construction uh, is not, uh, it's not a good quality activity. So there's a lot of information. There's a lot of, uh, uh, like what you can say, uh, deviation. So first thing first, kailangan mo matuto. So if you are eager, eager, and and push through this uh, being a QC inspector, quality QQC, so you must understand. You need to know these skills. Of course, if you are experienced from the construction, if you are from uh, engineering side, just like what what I my I'm experienced. So I'm from the construction, design, and then become field engineer, and now become quality. So meaning, you have a whole idea. So when you see the activities at site, and then checking the drawing, it's easy for you to understand because you have a background from the engineering, and then you have a background from the construction and now you are an inspector QAQC engineer it's easy it's very simple guys okay so first of course you know how to use the computer so it's not easy that you are you don't know how to use the computer and then you become a QC because QEQC, that is more on documentation. You must know how to use computer. Okay? And then next, of course, you know how to use MS Word, Excel. Because we're doing a reporting. You need to know how to make a report using Microsoft Word, Excel, and also PowerPoint. Sometimes you present the details through the construction to the team, commissioning, etc. The management you need to present using your PowerPoint. Okay? And then understand also how to read drawing. So you will not become a QAQC engineer inspector if you don't know how to read drawing. So interpret the drawing like general arrangement drawing, single line diagram, interconnection or wiring diagram, layouts, and also you need to know how to read this uh, bill of materials and then familiar the material receiving, material review, and what kind of materials that you are dealing from instrument, electrical, mechanical, Okay, multidiscipline. It depends because QEQC it's a wide whole discipline from the mechanical E and I. Okay, we have a multidiscipline. So it's combined. Okay, guys, and then you need to know also a good communication. Even though you are not so far as uh, fluently speaking English just like me not fluent but we can interact we can create correspondence and then understand English as well and you can speak English as well 
This is for interfacing, coordination, and reporting. So you need to good communication skills. Okay? This is the part of the requirement Requirement if you are uh, working in this field as well. Even other field. Okay? So, basically, based on my experience as a QEQC, almost eight years from the technician, from documentation, sometimes they are asking me, sir, how can I, how I, how I become inspector? Could you help me? How to become an inspector? Then this is all the requirements. You need to know this. If you are working under documentation right now, so if you want to proceed QEQC, inspector or engineer, now you start your familiarization with the drawing, how step by step to work from the RFI, documentation, transmittal, submittal, all of these documentations related. Okay? And then you need have an experience from the constructions. Just like what I said earlier, you, you have an advantage if you are from engineering experience and construction experience. Because when you go outside, just like for me, I am from the consultant side before, from engineering, and then also from the construction. So basically, when you see uh, construction activities outside, it's poor quality and poor construction uh, work. It's totally failed. Okay? So you must know this. This is advantage. But anyhow, that is not uh, mandatory as long as that you have an idea interpret the, how to read the drawing okay and then uh, coordination is the most important thing as well so you need to coordinate from the different department construction uh, engineering procurement okay expedi expeditor and then managers so this the uh, also important so remember this guys huh? and learn from others experience as an advice as for advice, go on. Whatever you want to learn, so ask them what kind of this, what kind of this thing for instrument, electrical, telecom. So what, what is the, what is the parameters? So understand a little bit, okay? And then learn, start reading method statement, ITPs, inspection test plan, test plan. Okay, PQP, quality procedures, and other specifications of the company. And the most important thing, you have this one. So start building your documents if you are interested to proceed this uh, work, this job. So documentation, so see. So what is the documentation of construction, documentation project requirement. So documentation requirements. Because we have a sequence space from the construction, quali uh, quality, pre-commissioning, commissioning, and then up to handover. Okay? And then, how to prepare RFI? It's a very simple job from the RFI. So, where this coming from, this RFI? So, RFI coming from the construction. If the construction activities is completed, they advise the QC to raise the RFI for inviting the client to attend to witness the inspection okay. and then coordinate interface subcontractor clients engineering commissioning documentations that is your coordination interfacing so next study about QEQC work activities reading scope procedure testing pre-commissioning commissioning procedures and paths material receiving all of this you need to learn in order you will pass the interview during the QEQC interview inspector engineers so this is the requirements if you're proceeding this job okay guys and have a nice day hopefully that you are you learn something what is the requirement and if you are proceeding this job if you are 
eager to know then I have some information in my YouTube channel search that one and then you learn something and basic simple informations that I'm sharing this in my YouTube channel have a nice day bye bye